Hello guys, today I'm going to help you with some compatibility error. And this compatibility error basically is, uh, let's say you go on a program and there's an error that pops up, like sometime while you're using it. And then basically the error causes the program to close. Like you know the uh, old uh, the error that is like close the program, like uh, basically it's not responding, stuff like that. Something like that. So I would use uh, Windows uh, Movie Maker, usually so you can see right there. And a lot of times I'd be making uh, projects and stuff like that, and like it would just like randomly close, and uh, there would like be a random error out, come out, came out of nowhere. Basically, here's a like, simple explanation: it's not compatible with Windows 8. That's the problem. So how do we make it compatible with Windows 8? Well, obviously that's what I'm here for. So just go to the Start menu, or if you even have a Start menu with Windows 8, I downloaded one, and go to the program you're having trouble with. Um, I'm sorry about that, guys. Let's close that. So, um, so go to the program you have, you have compatibility issues with. So I have compatibility issues with Microsoft Movie Maker. So just go to Troubleshoot Compatibility right there. Right click on it and press that. Then right now it's dead detecting issues. So troubleshoot program basically. You press on that. Alright, then the program worked in earlier versions of Windows but will not install run now. So basically the program worked in earlier versions of Windows operating systems but not in Windows 8. So you just click on that and you don't click on anything else. So just press next. Then you click on Windows 7. Because uh, this program worked really well with Windows 7. If it wouldn't work well with Windows XP, then click that. So right here, basically, Windows compatibility with Windows 7. Basically, what this means is that it runs the program as if it's running on Windows 7. So that's how it works. So then you just test the program. And if the program works out well for you, then that's good. Just close the program and then press Next. Then you press Yes, save these settings for this program. You have to click that if you really want to uh, save those settings. And just ignore this and press close. So that's basically how you do it.